welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy. If you're new, then welcome. Today I'm doing a haul video. This is three trips to Goodwill, and one is um, to the Mall of Peddlers, and then I think there's only one yard sale. One yard sale from Saturday. So let's get the yard sale over with because um, I only got a couple items there. Um, one of the items, or yeah, there's two actually. Uh, these cobalt blue bottles and I thought these were perfect for Halloween and plus you know I collect cobalt blue so I thought these were cool I don't think they're I don't think they're old I think they're modern um, I don't know they both say the same thing I think they do they say um, <laughs> let's make sure. old dragon's breath wizard's ale Brewed in the belly of fire-breathing dragon, consumed regularly as long years of life, happiness, and health. So they're both the same, so I thought that was cool. Um, maybe I'll sell one and keep one, who knows. So that's that. And then um, at that same yard sale, I picked up these little story cubes i've never heard of these so one of them does have directions in it and there are three different kinds uh it says rory's story cubes there's one in the orange bag and it's kind of like dice and you roll it and my understanding the girl just briefly kind of told me they have, they have little pictures on them and so i guess whatever little picture comes up you make a story i don't know it's some kind of a game we'll, we'll have to see <laughs> So I got that one, and then there's another one. Um, oh, well, this one doesn't say anything, but this one says voyages on the bottom. So I guess that's the theme on that one. And this one says actions. So there's three little bags of those. And I got this cute little guy. I thought he was neat. I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him, but he is posable. So maybe he's some stop action little clip. I don't know, I'm not sure. And then um, I also got these cards and these are playing cards and they're just regular cards. I just noticed there's two fours missing so it's not the whole deck. They're Harry Potter cards. But I thought they'd make really nice package toppers with nothing else. <laughs> so I picked those up at the same place. And then another yard sale we went to, um, I think the only thing I got was this, this, it is a beautiful hall base or pitcher. It's perfect condition, no chips, no cracks, and it is a uh, marred hall on the bottom. So that was a good deal on that. And then another yard sale, I got these two little um, dog figurines. They look like Scotty dogs. One's a glass bottle. <laughs> Look where the, bo the bottle is. Isn't that kind of weird? Um, at first I thought it was a donkey, but it is like a little Scottish terrier. Um, this one, I think it says Japan or Germany. Um, my glass is back on. Okay, so this is Germany. And this one says Lila's. So I don't know what that means. Looks like it has some black cold paint on it at one time, which most of it has come off. But I thought it was a cool bottle. It looks pretty old. So that was it for the yard sales. And then um, Goodwill. So I don't know which Goodwill is which, but I, did, I went to three different ones. Um, I do remember what I got today. <laughs> so this was today when I had to go pick up my granddaughter. So I stopped and got a few things. This is a Pyrex uh, mixing bowl. And I think this might have been the ones that went with the mixers, stand mixers. It's really heavy duty. It's in really good condition. It has some minor scratches in the inside, but look at how cool it is. It's just white and milk glass. But I thought it was really neat. Um, if I don't sell it, I might keep it for myself. It says made in USA, Hamilton Beach, Racine, Wisconsin. Con Racine, Wisconsin. And it says Pyrex. And I'm, uh, there's a letter R at the bottom. So that was today's. And then also today I got this cute little owl. 
And this was um, the Franklin Mint 1988, crafted in Taiwan. I thought he was really cute. So I got that. And then, um, I got, but these are also from today. I got these baskets. Now I think these are for paper plates. There's uh, one, two, three, four, six of them. But some of them are different. So I thought they'd be nice, like on a wall, like a gallery wall, a little boho wall. Um, I think they just were really pretty. They look like they're brand new. So I don't know how I'm gonna sell these yet, if I'll sell them individually or as a set. Because like I said, they could be used just on the wall. So we'll, we'll have to think about that. I might even keep a couple, I don't know yet. I really like them. Even though my style really isn't boho anymore, I love boho. That's, I guess it would kind of fit in our house, I don't know. Um, I picked up this, this is, um, this, I think it's ceramic. I don't think it's plastic. Although, you know what? It could be a very heavy duty plastic. But I thought that was really nice. Somebody who has a ranch or a farmhouse or who likes horses. Um, I don't know if anything's chipped off of there. Let me see how. Um, but this was, I believe, made in the USA. There's some numbers on the back, 4331. And it says, I think it's Burwood, Burwood Products, USA. I think that might be the same like those little um, black, um, well, I can't think of what they're called. Little kitchen um, decor that they put on the wall, like the butter churn and you know such. I think it's the same company. So I thought that was neat. So I think that was everything from today. And then yesterday, which was Senior Tuesday, uh, I picked up another mirror, because I love these mirror trays. They're always nice to have. So I got this one. It's a um, rectangular one. Um, I picked up this Jello mold, and it's strawberries, made in Japan. Very good condition. That is so pretty to hang in the kitchen. Um, oh, I got these. I don't know. Was this yesterday? Oh, this was yesterday. I got, again, these are those give me boho vibes. Um, and these are really nice. This has to have, this has to be trimmed off. <laughs> A little tiny one. I'm wondering if there was one on there that they cut it off. That's what I'm thinking. But, um, there's four of those. I'm, I'm starting a collection of these. And once I get more together, I have to decide if I'm gonna sell these uh, in sets of some sort, I don't know yet. <laughs> those are always nice to pick up. And then um, I got a goodie bag. Um, and a lady, matter of fact, I had this witch in my basket. I ended up putting her back because she, she cost too much. I won like almost ten dollars for her, but she saw that wish and she was, oh, I see you like Halloween. She was, how would you look at this? This has some really cool um, stuff in it, and I said, oh, thank you, good eye. <laughs> so um, I'll show you what's in here, and it's funny because at Goodwill they have Halloween items and anything seasonal. You don't get a discount, so the senior discount wouldn't go. But this was just marked as regular merchandise, um, so it does come with a discount. But look at this little wood angel. It looks like a card holder, or somebody might have converted her into a card holder. Oh, she's like a, I just wrote, noticed this. She's a nutcracker, but they have her covered up so you can't see her mouth moving. But it's a little witch. I thought she was cute. Um, there's, oh, here's another one. This is, the, oh yeah. It's weird. This is a little, a little uh, vampire. Again, he was a nutcracker, or of course you wouldn't want to crack nuts in there. 
but it's like a nutcracker. It's got a little thing in the back. And again, it's like a little card holder. And then a Frankenstein, same thing. See? And then um, the last one is a little devil. So that was a good find. And I was so glad that lady gave it to me. These are just awesome. I love those. Um, and also in there was this. <laughs> oh, how cute is he? Little, um, what is he called? Some kind of uh, red devil, I think. He's a little keychain. I don't see any marking on him, but just adorable. And then these, and these are quite collectible. Um, I had, actually do have a, a little mini collection of these. I can't remember what they're called. Um, oh, her little hood is, the elastic has come off her hood, but she, she would have been dressed like a little bunny. She's got purple hair. Is cute. Oh, I just love those. I don't know if I would have seen these if that lady didn't um, give them to me. But I thought that was really cool that she did that. Very nice. Um, okay. And then I picked up this adorable kitty mug. Little princess kitties they look like. Or maybe they're at a party. So cute. And this is from Pier One. You know I had to get that for little kitty cats in it. And speaking of kitty cats, I got this piggy pink. Now I know this is newer. Um, it's got sticker residue I gotta get off. It's missing the bottom, but it is a bank and it's just adorable. Just an adorable little kitty cat. I love his face. So I had to pick that one up. And another mug. <laughs> Look at this one. It says, kiss my, you know what, I'm 50. So this is great for somebody who's turning 50. A great gift. Um, and then the last mug is a Halloween mug and it has little owls on it. And I don't think this is vintage. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep this or sell it because I like to have um, a mug for Halloween. And I like this better than the one I have now, so I don't know. It's really lightweight. I really like it, so I don't know. I might, I might keep that one. I don't know yet. Um, and then I picked up this reindeer, and it looks like a Kimple. I think this is Kimble or Kimple. Um, but so that is really adorable. So I picked up that. There's nothing on the bottom. I know it is a hobbyist piece. I'm pretty sure it is signed. Um, I think Peter or Petey right there. But it looks like those temple mo mo blah, molds. <laughs> so that's cute. And if you don't like the color, you can always paint over it. Um, it's not glazed. And then I love this. I always pick up Madonna planters when I see them. And she's in perfect condition. Um, there's no marking, oh, except for, I thought there was a number. Yeah, there's no marking on her. That I can see um, but she's so sweet and she's just a small one so she's really cute and then um, what else oh I got this dish and I've had these before in different sizes different colors it's just a candy dish I think this one was made in Malaysia, but I'm not sure. So that's that. And then I got another goodie bag. And I haven't really looked into this one yet. This has a lot of puppy dogs in it. So let's see. So there's this little, uh, some type of a schnauzer or um, terrier. A little, maybe a bulldog or a Frenchie, I'm not sure. And this one, oh, it's not marked. Another little dog. A little puppy. 
And I might lock these up. Um, and another little puppy with a big head. Really cute. So yeah, I might have a sell them as a lot. Just like I bought them. Um, and then, oops, I also picked up this is a little Christmas tree. It was already decorated and I use those a lot for crafting. So I thought that was perfect. One of these little, um, I think it's for hairspray, a hairspray holder. Or, or you could put your lotion in there, you know, just to make it fancy. I love these. I usually pick up these type of items also. And then I got a bag full of um, doll clothes and I think they're Barbie dolls clothes um, this is the bag I haven't looked at them because I haven't opened it yet um, but I'm hoping there's some good stuff in here and then maybe when I have my doll sale um, maybe I'll offer some of these for sale too so I'm pretty sure look at that a Barbie sheet <laughs> but I'm pretty sure these are um, Barbie doll clothes so I'm not going to go through them all, but um, there's a lot of clothes in there. And if anybody has looked, tried to find Barbie doll clothes, they are pricey. Um, a couple years ago when my granddaughter was into Barbies, I was looking them up online and listen, they're not cheap. That's for sure. So somebody might get a good deal if they want some Barbie clothes. And then... Um, the last place I went, I went to Mall of Peddlers, and I picked up another apron. I love this apron. This one is probably my favorite of all of them. Um, it's black and white, and then it has some greens in it also. Uh, some teal and green. But look at this. Now, this is not a shirt. What I think she did is she took... Um, or maybe not. I'm saying maybe it was the back of a shirt. I don't know, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, the print is little kitty cats. I don't know if you can see that, but they're cats. And then she's got the ruffle again on the bottom. Um, she's got the little rag flower and there is pockets on the top. So this is just super adorable. I love this one. So, and it has adjustable um, strap on the top for your neck. Um, yeah, these get bigger. This is so cute. Yeah, like I said, that's every time I go to the Mall of Peddlers, I always check out her booth because I love what she has. And I also picked up from her uh, booth. Um, what did I do with them? Uh oh. My table is covered. I don't see them. Oh, here they are. These little um, quilt, they're made out of like old quilt. And what they are is for your pins, your needles rather. It's just a little needle holder. So you can keep all your needles in one place so you're not looking for them. I thought that was just a clever idea pins, needles, just put them in there, and they're in this cute little, adorable, little, little pocketbook that's made out of an old quilt. So there's two, I've got two different um, sizes. I thought that was really sweet. So that, and then um, also at the fair, now this booth was 50% off. And she had these roosters and there was a set of four. One was resin, I didn't like it. So I told the lady, I asked her if I could just take the three for the same price. Isn't that one cool? I love the colors on that. One of them does have a tiny little chippy on it. Oh, it's this one. 
anything on its tail. But I think that can just be painted over. And then the last one is this one. So this one kind of goes together, I think, with this one. I think those should be sold as a as a pair because it looks like a uh, rooster in the hen. So really nice. So I was happy with those. I love this. This one's my favorite, this rooster. So I don't know if I want to keep it or sell it. You know, I used to collect roosters. I have them all boxed up now because I've been putting different things out of my vignettes. But I don't know. I'd hate to, I don't like to get rid of my whole collection. We'll see. And I think that's, that's it. That's everything. Um, I, ha I did buy this little medicine bottle and the lady didn't put it in my bag, which I'm kind of upset about. Um, I don't think I paid too much for it. I have to see if I even paid for it, but I can't remember which Goodwill it was at. But the funny thing is, is um, the lady said, oh, I love that bottle. She goes, I collect those bottles. And coincidence that it wasn't in my bag? <laughs> I don't know. I just wish I remember which Goodwill. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do sales on Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern with the Chatty Cathy's. Um, that's uh, the Kitchy Cat, Kathy. Uh, she's taking a break right now, so I have Leanne, who will be joining me every week until Kathy comes back. And I also have Sabrina coming on um, with us this Sunday, so that'll be fun. Sabrina from Simon Says, Let's Make a Deal. And um, Monday, I have a sale with Beth from Beth Grand Old Things, and that'll be on my channel Monday at 2 Eastern, um, August 15th. And then on the 18th, oh my gosh, this is coming up quick. On Thursday, the 18th, I'm having, um, is that right? Is it already the 15th? Or am I losing my mind? I have to look now. I'm getting myself confused. Um, I don't know what today's date is actually. So it might be, I know it's Beth this coming Monday. And then Thursday, the 18th, at 4.30 p.m., Helen Booty and I are having a doll sale. So all kinds of dolls. I might even have those doll clothes, the Barbie doll clothes in there. And that's at 4.30, my channel. Um, that'll be fun. And then on the 21st, I believe, look, be looking out for the promos. There's 20 of us, and we're going to be doing a summer ween. So this will be a lot of um, spooky Halloween stuff for sale. And that is a pre-recorded sale. Uh, now, some of the people on there will be having um, a live chat, like a premiere. So um, I think mine comes on at 7 Eastern, but um, I'm going to be on, on live with the Chatty Cathy, so I won't be doing a live premiere. So be on the lookout for that. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video.